Increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is threatening the global climate system. As of today, using exclusively solar energy to convert in carbon dioxide into value-added product is considered as the top research priorities. In our project, carbon dioxide emission for the power plant will be converted to methanol. Why methanol? Methanol is an important material used in chemical synthesis for everyday products, including plastics, pens, cosmetics, and fuels. It has higher energy density by weight and by volume compared to other renewable sources such as ethanol, hydrogen, and lithium batteries. That makes it easy to transport and has a low environmental impact. For decades, the U.S. depended largely on importing methanol from other countries. The retail price is keeping increasing in recent days. Here is the conversion system. The whole system consists of the PV panel, hydrogen production, carbon reduction, and methanol synthesis. First, solar energy is converted to electricity with 15% efficiency. In the second step, electric energy is used to produce hydrogen through the alkaline electrolysis. At the same time, captured carbon dioxide is converted to carbon monoxide through the reverse water gas shift reaction. The conversion rate in mole ratio is 61%. Then methanol is synthesized on the catalyst. The catalyst life is 40 hours to maintain a high activity. Average synthesis rate is 20 gram methanol per kilogram catalyst per hour. Finally, the methanol with 90% purity will produced after the distillation process. In our project, the production baseline is 8,000 ton methanol per year. Material feedstocks and energy demand are calculated. The carbon monoxide production system, RWGS unit, is the largest contributor to energy consumption. This system requires a large amount of solar energy. In our design, the methanol will supply the great demand in the petroleum industry of Louisiana. Here remains a question whether we should invest the factory in Louisiana or set up the factory in a place with high solar resource and deliver the product to Louisiana. The cost-benefit evaluation is based on two alternatives, the factory in Louisiana versus factory in Arizona. In the assessment, initial cost and operation cost are calculated. All the currency used is based on the US dollar in 2019. The inflation rate, tax and labor cost in the future are not taken into consideration. The initial capital cost includes investment on PV panels and carbon dioxide conversion system. In two locations, the investment cost on the conversion system is $55.6 million. The PV panel system cost is different. The PV system in Louisiana will take 75% more land than the system setting in Arizona. Annual operation cost is calculated based on the 8,000 ton methanol production and 8,000 hour operation time of our factory. It covers the material feedstock, waste disposal, catalyst, transportation, maintenance, and insurance. The main difference is the additional transport fee from Arizona to Louisiana by rail. The cost is $69.25 per ton methanol product. Wastewater treatment fee is also different in two states. Due to the difference on electricity price, whether we should use water electrolysis as hydrogen source or by commercial hydrogen product can become a consideration. Here we design eight possible plans, concluding the variables such as locations, hydrogen source, and energy source. The quoted prices are calculated under a 25-year period with a discount rate of 10%. In the current situation, the retail price of our product is much higher than the market price. However, we believe that our product will finally succeed in the international market for the foreseeable future. Like all other industries, the production costs may decrease quickly due to the technology advance and policy support. 
In our system, the increasing conversion rate in hydrogen production can decrease the energy cost. We can also improve the catalyst performance and increase PV panel efficiency. The industry will also benefit on future carbon market and carbon tax policy. The future research should be done in this area. Use green energy to produce green fuel, solving the problem associated with climate change and energy crisis.